What's up, Navigating Academia family? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day so far. As you can tell, I'm chilling in the car right now, waiting to be able to go into a doctor's appointment. So I figured that I'd take this time to be able to answer a valued viewer's question. So the question that I got, I just got yesterday, and it's a great question. And as somebody who both of his doctorates are from outside the United States, I completely understand what the question entails. The basic question, if you guys hear like a train or something, there is legit a train over there. Uh, so it'll pass by in a second. So the question essentially is, if you are a graduate student or a postdoc in a country outside of the United States, is it something where you can dream of becoming, because that's what the question asks, can you dream of becoming a tenure track professor in the United States? And the answer is no. No, I'm kidding. Of course it is. Of course it's possible. It's absolutely something that you can dream of. Just remember that the rules for individuals who are applying for tenure track positions in the U.S. when they are not U.S. citizens, it's obviously a little bit different if you're already a U.S. citizen and then you're applying for such a job in the United States. But let's say that you're not currently a citizen of the U.S. So the things to keep in mind is that you are also competing against people in the U.S., which means that you need, you know, the identical credentials, which means a lot, a lot, a lot of personal connections. Personal connections is the keys to the kingdom, along with grant funding, so some kind of external funding. And I'm not talking about grant funding like 5,000 U.S. dollars. I'm talking about 50, 100, several hundred thousand dollars in funding. Uh, and you can get these from private foundations. Uh, you can get these... Uh, this money from uh, grants that are given to uh, by nonprofits, uh, you know, you name it. If you don't know where to find funding, go to Publication Academy. So it's publicationacademy.com. Take the course. It's called the Master Class in uh, Grant Seeking Best Practices. And we give you tons. We give you this massive list of websites to go to to find out those kinds of external grant funding opportunities as well as uh, all sorts of different crowdfunding platforms that you can utilize to be able to fund your research. We give you a ton of resources also in terms of uh, like how to be able to read PF 990 forms in the US. There's so many resources in there. Uh, I personally supervise the development of that course so you guys know how anal I am in terms of developing high, res uh, high quality resources. So check it out. Again, masterclass in, best, uh, in grant seeking best practices at publicationacademy.com. If you guys need a discount, email me. We'll see what we can do. So here's the deal. Um, personal connections are number one. Go to conferences that are international in nature where you can actually meet up with whoever the chair of the department is or other individuals in the department where you have a goodness of fit with the research that they're currently doing, okay? Um, you obviously need to take into consideration that only 20% of all new faculty positions in the United States are tenure track positions. And you need to keep in mind that because of the COVID-19 pandemic, loads of these programs have shut down. And because of that, individuals who have 15, 20 more years of experience than you do, publishing, building connections, uh, getting student evaluations from classes they teach, they're competing against people in their mid-20s to mid-30s who are applying for their first job. So you have to take into consideration that right now there's an unprecedented level of competition, right? Uh, and if that's something that's scary, that's not a bad thing. Sometimes that anxiety or neuroticism can actually light a fire under your butt. You can't let that neuroticism or that anxiety shut you down and make it so that you don't want to be able to pursue opportunities. So we call that paralysis by analysis. You, you don't want to be paralyzed because you're afraid, even though I would understand why you would be, right? Personal connections, meet people in person. Don't just be emailing people. To be honest with you, it's meaningless. It does not count as a personal connection, okay? So that's number one. The next thing, like I said, external grant funding. Uh, and the next one is publications. As many publications as you can get in high impact factor journals, that's going to differ per field in terms of what constitutes a high impact factor. Also, I want you to max out your H index. H index is essentially, so like let's say you have an H index of five. That means you have at least five publications, each of which have been cited five times. Uh, between five to eight is the median number of um, of publications that you have to get tenure, and that totally differs across fields, uh, but that's like the median across fields, right? Had a colleague of mine at Davidson College who recently uh, did, an, uh, again, kind of another uh, large-scale survey of tenure professors, and for them, they ended up finding that's a little bit over eight in terms of the H index. So as you can tell, you know, the range is between five to eight, maybe a little bit on the higher side, okay? 
okay? Max out that age index, because you are competing against people who are from the US. Why is that important? Is it because the US, US is some sort of xenophobic or jingoistic country? It's not, um, but it is something where I can tell you as an employer myself, uh, who has employed people literally for like, what, eight years this year, seven to eight years this year, it is so much easier to be able to hire somebody as an employee who is already a US citizen. And so a lot of universities, if it's you versus somebody else and you have identical credentials, one's a US citizen, one's not, they will pick the US citizen. So you need to really make your CV unbelievable, make sure that you get fantastic teaching credentials insofar as write a killer pedagogical statement, uh, write a killer cover letter, Letter and make sure you have a lot of just phenomenal student evaluations. If you can prep materials for as many courses as are in kind of like a core curriculum for a given university as well, uh, that is something that is fantastic to do. You can take a look at the current uh, syllabi four courses that are taught in that department and make it something where it would be really easy for you to be able to slide in there. Also, if there's courses that people hate teaching, like you guys know I love stats, people hate teaching something like behavioral stats uh, or like research methods, seminars and research methods. A lot of people hate that. So if you can actually prep materials for those courses and say that that's what you want to teach, that'll also put you into a good situation. So at the end of the day, is it possible for you to be able to dream of getting a po is not a postdoc, dream of getting a tenure track position in the US when you are not a US citizen or you completed your doctorate elsewhere? A hundred percent it is. Uh, does it mean that you need to be super competitive to be able to get the opportunity, uh, even just for an interview for such a position? It does. And you guys know for me that I always shoot you straight on this channel. If you want more information, please do book a one-on-one -on -one session with me via www.jphoenixsing.com. Again, I apologize that in the past several years ago, I did free consultation sessions. I do not provide free services anymore. I was getting upwards of 20, 30 requests a week for those kinds of sessions. I just can't handle the demand, guys. This is a hobby for me. I love making you guys these videos. I love, love, love doing one-on-one -on -one sessions with you guys, but understandably, I just can't do it. So appreciate your time. Thank you so much for the opportunity to be able to be in your guys' life, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.